Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank all those that took part in an enormous democratic exercise in this country, which in concluded with me being elected as leader of the Labour Party and leader of the opposition. I think we can be very proud of the numbers of people who engaged and took part in all those debates. I have taken part in many events around the country and had conversations with many people about what they thought about this place, our parliament, our democracy and our conduct within this place. And many told me that they thought Prime Minister's question time was too theatrical, that Parliament was out of touch and too theatrical, and they wanted things done differently, but above all, they wanted their voice heard in Parliament. So I thought my first Prime Minister's question time, I'd do it in a slightly different way. And I'm sure the Prime Minister is going to absolutely welcome this, as he welcomed this idea in 2005. But something seems to have happened to his memory during that period. Um, and so I sent out an email to thousands of people and asked them what questions they would like to put to the Prime Minister. And I received 40,000 replies. Now, there isn't time to ask 40,000 questions today, and uh, our rules limit us to six. And so I would like to start with the first one, which is about housing. Two and a half thousand people emailed me about the housing crisis in this country. And I asked one from a woman called Marie, who says, what does the government intend to do about the chronic lack of affordable housing and the extortionate rents charged by some private sector landlords in this country. Prime Minister. Prime Minister. I received over a thousand questions on the situation facing our mental health services and people that suffer from mental health conditions. This is a very, very serious situation across the whole country and uh, I want to put to the Prime Minister a question that was put to me quite simply from Gail. Do you think it's acceptable that the mental health services in this country are on their knees at the present time? We do need to do more to increase mental health services in our country. We've made some important steps forward in recent years. Mental health and physical health now have parity in the NHS constitution. We will not have a strong NHS unless we have a strong economy. If I could take the Prime Minister back to the situation of mental health in this country, it is very serious. I agree with him absolutely on parity of service. I hope that the spending commitments are brought forward rather than delayed to the end of this Parliament because the crisis is a very serious one. We know this from our constituents. We know this from people we meet. We know this from the devastation that many face. And indeed, some have taken their own lives because of the devastation they face. I ask a question from Angela, who is a mental health professional, so she knows exactly what she's talking about, and she quotes this, beds are unobtainable with the result that people suffering serious mental health crises are either left without adequate care or alternatively admitted to facilities many miles away from their homes, relatives and family support systems. The situation is simply unacceptable. What does the Prime Minister say to Angela? to people like her who work so hard in the mental health services, or people going through a mental health crisis who may well be watching us today on Prime Minister's Question Time and want to know that we take seriously their conditions. We take seriously their need for emergency beds to be near their homes and their support system, and that we as a society take seriously their plight and are going to help them and care for them. What does the Prime Minister say to Angela? Yeah. Well, what I would say to Angela, all those working in mental health, or indeed those suffering from mental health conditions, is that we need to do more as a country to help tackle mental health. Now, that's obviously money into the health service, which we will deliver, but it's also changing the way that the health service helps those with mental health conditions. That's, that's why the figures show that a family... So I thought this was the new question time. Yeah. What... I'm not sure the message has fully got home. I don't want to blind the House with statistics, but I just give you these two.